What emotional impact did the theft of Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee's sex tape with Pamela Anderson have on the couple? And why did she press domestic abuse charges against him? Keep watching for those details and more. Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson's whirlwind marriage is defined, for better or worse, by their infamous sex tape. The story of how the tape was viewed by millions on the internet is really quite unfortunate. According to Rolling Stone, in 1995, Lee and Anderson were renovating their home and had construction workers in and out of their house. One day, Lee reportedly yelled at one of the contractors and fired the crew, despite still owing them several thousand dollars. Seeking revenge, a contractor, who was formerly in the adult film industry, dressed up as the couple's shaggy dog to get past security cameras, broke into the couple's garage and stole a safe. The couple was mortified when they saw the news. Lee wrote in his memoir Tommyland, "...we knew the tape was in the safe, but we never thought that thieves were after anything but guns and money. Despite the couple's individual successes, they could never shake the stigma of the tape. It became relevant to a new generation in 2022, with the release of Hulu's Pam and Tommy." Lee told E.T. that he was stoked about the series based on the true story of the origins of the tape. But he added, "...the story's actually cool, what actually happened wasn't." As for his ex, sources told E.T. that the release was very painful for Anderson. Never gave them the right to sell the videotape or to shoot the videotape anywhere in the world or, or show it on, you know, different television shows or anything." Although Tommy Lee was madly in love with Pamela Anderson during their marriage, he struggled to handle her divided attention when their sons Brandon and Dylan were born. In the Motley Crue band memoir The Dirt, he wrote that he felt non-existent and became a whiny, needy little brat. His jealousy came to a boil in 1998, when he allegedly kicked Anderson over a dispute about her parents visiting, according to the Los Angeles Times. Anderson reportedly had her baby boy in her arms at the time and was concerned about both children's safety after the attack. Her resulting injuries were described as some bruising and a torn fingernail in court. In The Dirt, Lee wrote that he didn't really understand why Anderson pressed charges for spousal abuse and lamented that she likely viewed viewed him as a, quote, crazy violent monster. The rock star pleaded no contest and was sentenced to six months in jail for the incident. He was also ordered to attend anger management classes, complete 200 hours of community service, and donate over $6,000 to a women's shelter, per the Los Angeles Times. Anderson filed for divorce after the incident. Lee served four months in jail and was released early. While a judge once praised him for being on his best behavior during a post-release check-in, he didn't behave well for long and was sent back to jail for five days for violating his probation by drinking alcohol, per Rolling Stone. Tommy Lee's marriage to Pamela Anderson wasn't his first or his second. As of 2022, the rock star has been married four times. In 1984, he married model Elaine Starchuk, but they separated after just one week, per the U.S. Sun. Lee then married actor Heather Locklear in 1986. Her squeaky clean image and Motley Crue's hard partying ways were an odd pairing to some, but that didn't phase Locklear. She told People, "...Tommy doesn't worship the devil, he worships me." But Lee reportedly couldn't stay away from other women during their marriage, Entertainment Weekly reported. Locklear filed for divorce seven years later. Then came Anderson. The Baywatch star wore a white bikini and the drummer was clad in swim trunks for their 1995 Mexican beach wedding just four days after they met. Their three-year marriage ended in 1998, but the rocker didn't give up on love. Social media star Brittany Ferland became Lee's significantly younger wife on Valentine's Day 2019. In an Instagram post, Ferland said the couple had planned on keeping their wedding photos private, but they decided to share a few snaps after receiving thousands of DMs. She's got super good crazy. In 2001, Tommy Lee was a single dad hosting his son Brandon's fifth birthday party when tragedy struck once again. A four-year-old boy had attended the party with a male babysitter. In his memoir Tommyland, Lee said that the sitter came up to him and told him he was leaving to go to a rock concert, but he informed Lee that another adult at the party had agreed to watch the child. Moments later, Lee recalled other adults pulling Daniel from the pool, where he was floating on his stomach, ABC News reported. Lee said he learned that the woman who was supposed to be watching Daniel was walking her dog at the time of the the incident. The rock star said he called 911 while others tried CPR. The boy later died at the hospital. His family filed a $10 million lawsuit against Lee for negligence, but a jury found him not responsible for the child's death. Lee told ABC News in 2006, "...as a parent, you know I'll always feel responsible. I wish I could have done something, or I wish I would have seen it. I wish I could have done anything." 
Tommy Lee's issues with alcohol became public on Father's Day 2018, when his son Brandon, 21 at the time, allegedly punched his father in response to comments Lee made on social media about Brandon's mom, Pamela Anderson, TMZ reported. Brandon posted a video to Instagram of Lee lying on the floor unconscious. Anderson wrote about the incident on her website in an essay titled Alcoholism is the Devil, explaining that Brandon acted in self-defense and had been staying with his father to help him with his drinking. I will never talk to Tommy again before he is sober and in his right mind. Jealous of his son's talent and beauty from the day they were born, he is sick. Lee told TMZ that he was not this deviant alcoholic abuser. He also wanted to file charges against his son, but he never did, ET reported. But he did eventually confess to some excessive drinking. In 2020, Lee told Yahoo Entertainment that he began drinking two gallons of vodka a day during the coronavirus pandemic. I fell uh, into a trap um, that boredom was hosting. He went to rehab for the issue after his wife, Brittany Ferlin, expressed her concerns. As of the making of this video, he has now been sober for over a year. He said, I don't know if it's a forever thing, but for now, I'm not drinking vodka today. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or call SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357.